Combining the more basic rules from earlier in this derivative segment with the product rule, quotient rule, and chain rule that we covered most recently, we're now all set for advanced exercises that will confirm your comprehension of all of the derivative rules in my machine learning foundation series. All right, in the first exercise here, let's use the product rule to find the derivative of this function here. For the second exercise, let's use the quotient rule to find the derivative of this function here. And then for exercises three, four, and five, we're going to use the chain rule. And you might find it helpful in the fifth exercise to use several nested functions, not just two. So there's a hint for you. All right. I'd recommend pausing the video here because we will now go through the solutions. Okay, here's your answer to exercise one using the product rule. Here's a solution to exercise two using the quotient rule. And then here's a solution to exercise three where we use the chain rule. Exercise four, again, using the chain rule. And exercise five where I broke the function up into three nested functions and again applied the chain rule to find the solution. Okay, brilliant. Just one quick derivative rule left. One that conveniently combines together two of the rules we've already covered. After that, we're ready to move on to the next segment of videos on automatic differentiation. And I should mention, that if you'd happen to like a detailed walkthrough of the solutions to all the exercises that were in this video, you can check out my Udemy course called Machine Learning and Data Science Foundations.